Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to this video. So three to four months back, I passed my AWS SysOps Administrator Associate certification and I did not make any video uh, since then uh, uh, due to some personal reasons. But now I'm back to the channel and in this video, I'm going to talk you through the process which I took to complete this certification. How did I plan? How did I prepare? All the resources which I used during my preparation of this exam. In this video, I'm going to share it all. Let's begin. So let's move back to my screen where I will show you uh, the entire process and the resources which I used. So let's continue there. Uh, so if you see on the screen, uh, this is the official certification exam website uh, from AWS and the length of the exam you can see is 180 minutes. The cost of the exam is 150 USD and the format is 65 questions, multiple choice, multiple response or exam lab. So this is one of those certification exam where uh, there is a lab portion as well as uh, to the multiple choice question. So multiple choice plus lab. So out of 65, uh, roughly you will see 50 multiple choice questions and you will be encountering three labs which you have to configure on uh, virtually on their environment. They'll provide you a separate tab or environment uh, and they will provide you uh, the steps and you will have to deploy that infrastructure and submit your lab. As per my experience, this is one of the best certification exam in cloud because it lets you take this that opportunity to implement your learnings in a lab environment during an exam. If you are a system administrator who, are, uh, who is moving to the cloud or you are already working in cloud but suppose you are working as a developer and you need to get some skills of system administrator to uh, deploy the infrastructure which is, which could be an EC2 instance which could be an, uh, an Amazon VPC network. So these things will get covered in this exam as well as the monitoring section which includes CloudWatch and CloudTrail. So these are two monitoring services in the AWS which you will get to learn uh, during the process of this exam. If you see the exam guide, so they recommend one to two years of experience as a sysadmin on operation roles, experience in monitoring, logging, troubleshooting and some of the networking concept and some of the uh, architectural concept like high availability or performance capacity. But uh, if you are new to AWS, I would recommend that you can still take this exam. Uh, this is one of the greatest exam which you can take as this is an associate level exam. So you can e even if you don't have much experience with AWS, even if you are new to AWS, you can take this exam uh, without any trouble. You should be able to clear that. Now, uh, if, we, if we see this section, right, exam content again, we have three things, multiple choice, multiple response and exam lab. But if you go a little more into detail of the parts of the exam, you can see the 20%, 16%, 18%, 16%, 18%, 18% and 12%. There are six domains uh, which make up to 100% of the exam and it starts with monitoring, logging and remediation. Again, monitoring means CloudWatch, CloudTrail. Uh, those are the most important services when you think about monitoring. Uh, then we have reliability and business continuity where we have ELB, Route 53, auto scaling and FSX, RDS, you know, all that and a little bit of S3 as well. You can see it here. Then we have deployment provisioning and automation where we will have cloud formation, obviously the automation service of the AWS. We will have ops work, we will have system manager. These are very important services uh, for your deployment section. Uh, then if you go to security, IAM almost features in all of the AWS exams. So IAM is one of the most important uh, services which you need to know if you're working in, a, in uh, an AWS environment. Right? That is there, then trusted advisor is there. Then we have control tower and organizations as well. Apart from that, we have KMS, we have guard duty, security hub, config, inspector, all these services in inside the security umbrella or security domain. Then in the networking, again, the VPC is one of the services like IAM. It, it is included in almost all the AWS exam, no matter what, because you need to deploy a VPC before you deploy any application inside AWS. So again, VPC is covered very well here. Then Route 53 is there. Uh, a large section is Route 53. So uh, that is one of the things. Then we have logs as well, like VPC flow logs, ELB access logs, VA, uh, WAF logs as well, CloudFront logs as well. 
so monitoring also covers because this is a system administrator exam because system ad administrator will have to do day to day log monitoring and you know creating alarms uh, based on that so all the monitoring things will come under this exam then we have again this is one of the section cost which is covered in almost every aws exam now inside the cost we have cost explorer compute optimizer budgets and billing alarms we have spot instances from ec2 and we have again ebs and some other ec2 enhanced capabilities now this is the uh, part of the exam but i will tell you more or less the most important services uh, from this exam so first service is vpc which you need to know second service is route 53 which you need to know in and out third service is elb fourth is auto scaling fifth is acm which is certificate manager and sixth is cloudwatch these are the services where you will get one lab question as well the question could be like uh, deploy an elb and deploy an auto scaling group behind that elb right so these kind of questions you will have a step by step guide and you will have to perform it in a lab there, there could be you have where you have to create you know a vpc infrastructure from uh, zero you have to create a private subnet public subnet deploy elb in private subnet or your deployer instances in a public subnet there will be step by step given and you will have to deploy them in the labs again this is the very big section vpc route 53 elb auto scaling acm and cloudwatch the second uh, part of these services is rds ec2 s3 ssm and aws organization now from these set of services i don't think you will get a practical uh, lab question to perform but still the majority of the mcq questions will be from uh, uh, rds ec2 s3 ssm and aws organization the third uh, set of services which i have noted down is related to security mostly cloud trail uh, aws config aws inspector aws guard duty these uh, are the services out of these services there is one service which is aws config and we can also put cloud formation in this set of services config and cloud formation where you can get a lab exam as well so lab question keep it keep it an eye on aws config and cloud formation as well if we come to the fourth part of the services that will be aws budget uh, the cost explorer and the trusted advisor so you can see uh, right now uh, on the screen there will be four different types of services four different sets of services from which you need to prepare for your exam these are the most important services for uh, when when we think about this exam now if we go back to the screen aws uh, website only we have some sample questions as well right this is related to ec2 a company hosts a web application on ec2 user reports that the web application is occasionally unresponsive and uh, cloudwatch metrics in include that cpu utilization is 100 percent now we have to implement a solution to monitor for this issue now this is related to monitoring of this issue so create a cloudwatch alarm that monitors aws cloud trail events then cloudwatch alarm that uh, monitors metrics for ec2 instance cpu utilization now we can implement sns topic to monitor cloudwatch metrics for ec2 instance utilization and create a recurring assessment check on ec2 instance by using inspector see how many services are covered in just one question and you will get most of the question like this ec2 is covered here cloudwatch is covered here a cloud trail is covered here sns is covered here inspector is covered here so you can see right you need to get a, a very good grasp on the practical uses of all these services just to get this one question right you can check the answers from the bottom the answer is b right you can check why that is the answer again with this set of questions you will also get kind of a practical scenario which is sample exam lab so in this exam you can see that uh, they are try uh, trying to let us create an custom db parameter group create a custom aws kms service then create a vpc security group then launch an rds db instance and take the snapshot and provide the snapshot arn here so it will be exactly like this this is the screenshot of that lab exam the lab exam will be exactly like this you will have your if i, if I can zoom it out 
So you'll have your instruction at the right side of the screen and you'll have to deploy it in the AWS management console. You'll get a VM. Please remember that uh, whenever you submit this lab exam, just recheck when uh, whether all these steps are completed and then you submit that exam because sometimes uh, it might be uh, some of the steps um, are not completed, right? So you can go back and check all that again because every step has uh, some kind of marking uh, which overall uh, determines your lab exam score. Again, you need to be very cautious of that. If I come to my experience of the exam, which, which uh, what I did uh, to prepare for this exam, First thing is I always go through one A Cloud Guru course, uh, but this time this course, I don't think this is, this course is enough to pass the exam. So what I did that I again went to the Udemy, uh, which is obviously very cheap and you can get uh, great courses here. So this course by Stephen Amaraki, like uh, this one, Ultimate AWS Certified Sales of Administrator Associate. And this also comes with, I think, a practice test test uh, with this exam. Uh, practice test of Stephen Mar uh, Marke is uh, one of the greatest resource which you can find to pass any certification exam, not just the SysOps. But uh, you can, again, if you already have a subscription for a Cloud Guru or Pluralsight or uh, anything like that, you can also continue this course. Course is very good, but it is, I don't think that is enough to cover the uh, deep questions in the exam, right? So questions are very easy on the practice exam of uh, a cloud guru, but the practice exam uh, for this, this course is very good. So you can also take a practice exam course where you will have six or seven practice exams. So I hope that uh, you will find this video helpful and it will help you to pass the AWS SysOps Administrator Associate exam. I'll be keep making these kind of videos uh, to inform you about the certifications uh, in 2023 because again uh, this time there are a lot of layoffs going on in the companies where the certification can save you. Certification can be very useful to uh, shine your resume so again uh, keep doing the certification keep doing the hard work and i will see you in the next video have a good day bye bye